so yes anybody that wants to sign up for this uh, uh, Ivana and I will join you for uh, this interactive drawing group and we'll have an assignment for you it is going to have something to do with the uh, the goals that we talked about today uh, simplifying uh, making good use of background uh, to uh, you know make sure your foreground is, is stronger uh, by not doing too much in the background, having uh, a personal interpretation of a photo that is a nice stylization. We're going to touch on all these things, but we'll have the specifics of you of it for you when uh, when you sign up later. There is a link on the same page as this video, or you can find it at tattooeducation.com forward slash video hyphen on hyphen demand. Um, and we're hoping you can join us later on. Our goals are, first of all, clarity. And of course, we're early in our, I mean, I'm early in my design. And uh, so clarity, like I was looking at uh, Philip's drawing and it's, uh, you know, at, at that particular moment anyway, I thought that the face needed to be more readable. Mm -hmm. And uh, so clarity is one, contrast in the use of black. Yeah. And uh, of course, you know, mine is way too early to say, but uh, I think that we might want to uh, encourage people to be at least partway finished before joining us for the group so we can uh, have them download the exercise and get started. Um, because, you know, we're going to have an hour, hour and a half with the group. Which I is agree. Barely, I, yeah, barely I, enough I think time. I think they should have lots of information to send them of the drawing. Yeah. At least. Yeah. So we can we can see the structure, the use of black and everything. And if they don't have it, then we can navigate it. All right. So you're still in the outline stage. But yeah, yeah it's it's cool how you've got the uh, the broken up uh, mandala behind the turtle because you've got structure and something much more flowing. Uh, interacting oh. that way and that's something that I always love to see in tattoos like mandalas by themselves are very tricky you know like unless it's in the center of the back or the center of the chest but uh, when you've got yeah. the uh, other element like in this case the turtle flowing through it it could go anywhere on the body yeah yeah I like to decompose them like that and just put part of them on some designs with this design, what I want to say, I love the use of the black you put there, I love the lines, the structure, simplicity, but at the same time you can tell even from the distance whether, whether the design is small or big, you can tell what is it. So what I want to, this is what always what I encourage my students, it doesn't have to look exactly like the original photo, you can kind of like make it abstract or you know, whatever you decide, make your fantasy run wild, pretty much. As long as it has the shape, when you look, when you look at it, you know exactly what it is. I think that's important because there is there is no limitations when it comes to interpretation. It's a challenge to find your own style, and there's so many different, you know, amazing looking styles out there. But there's yeah. still room. There's, you know, that's the challenge. Yeah. There is yeah. always rules, but I think that comes from within. Like, what are you attracted to? Like, how would you like to express yourself? This is exactly what I feel like the stars comes from. Ivana, thank you. This has been a great talk. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Yeah, I wanted to say that we had people from, let's see, the United States, the UK, Colombia, Canada, Australia, India, Very Poland, nice. Germany. Nice. That's awesome. Amazing. Outstanding. <laughs> I'm glad we can inspire the world. I'm glad that the world can come join us here. This is so cool. There is a link on the same page as this video, or you can find it at tattooeducation.com forward slash video hyphen on hyphen demand.